All right, this is part four, and it's going to be pretty brief, but I just want to talk about a couple quick little things about the interface. Um, let's say you've saved your file, you've come back, and uh, now it's cleared out here, and you're saying, okay, well, um, I want to keep moving on, and you're ready to attach your character, and uh, there's this button here called uh, Select Skinning Joints. Uh, what this button does is it selects all the joints that you should be attaching your character to. There are other joints that are in this scene, uh, in this rig that are used for other purposes. Um, so you only want to skin to a certain number of them. Now you can see that if I click this, select skinning joints, nothing has happened. So you need to make sure that you load in the name again if uh, for whatever reason you've saved the scene and, or reloaded the interface. So let's go see, okay, my character name is uh, Dustin. Everything is prefixed, has that same thing. So everything before the first underscore is your character's name. So now that I've done that, I can go ahead and click select skinning joints. Now you have all the joints that you should be skinning your character to, so now you can shift select or add to your selection your uh, geometry. Once you have that, make sure you're in the animation uh, menu set, and then we're going to go under skin, bind skin, smooth bind, option box. Once you're here, uh, you just want to make sure that you choose bind to selected joints because again we have these extra joints in our scene that we don't want to attach our character to so we do not want to do joint hierarchy or object hierarchy. Just make sure you keep it on selected joints. Uh, you can adjust these settings as you need and then simply bind skin and you're good to go. And that's pretty much it for this short tutorial.